Hello everybody, my name is Davis and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be power scaling Thor. Now recently I did a couple videos where I power scaled Iron Man and Captain America and you guys really seem to love those so I thought I would make a Thor episode. So today not only are we going to be figuring out how powerful Thor is but we're also going to be seeing how he stacks up against Iron Man and Captain America. So let's get right into it. So first let's go ahead and talk about Thor's strength. Now I'm going to count Mjolnir for Thor's strength since in all of my other power scaling videos I count other people suits and weapons and stuff towards some of their stats so I'm gonna let Mjolnir count for his strength and to somebody that's not worthy I bet uh, I bet a lot of people didn't know this but uh, I found out that Mjolnir is 10 quadrillion pounds to somebody that isn't worthy in the last Captain America power scaling video so Thor has the strength of 10 quadrillion pounds which far outweighs Captain America's and Iron Man so far and he can have access to it at any time so it's not like you can only have it once a year at this certain day or something he always has access to 10 quadrillion pounds of force so that is just insane to me so let's talk about Thor's speed so obviously Thor can fly so he's pretty fast and I think that his most impressive speed feat is whenever he was flying away from this monster in Ragnarok and obviously this proves that this is exactly how fast he can go because I think this this is a moment where you'd want to be going as fast as possible whenever a dragon's chasing you trying to eat you so uh at the beginning of ragnarok which is probably still about the same his speed was roughly 150 to 200 miles per hour i'm guessing it's kind of hard to tell how fast the dragon and him are going but they're going about two or three times you would see a car going just kind of on the highway or something i imagine so about one or two hundred uh miles per hour for thor's speed so thor's durability i knew was very impressive but it's even better than I thought. So Thor survived a full-on blast from the Power Stone. Well, I guess it's not full-on blast because let me explain the situation. In the beginning of Infinity War, Loki, uh, Th Thanos wants Loki to give him the Tesseract and he's threatening to go away with Thor's head if he doesn't give it to him. So he's not doing a full Power Stone blast. So, basically, the Power Stone has however much power in it, or however much strength in it, that the user has, and I read online that Thanos in the MCU has 120 million pounds of strength. Now, however, once again, it's not a full blast from Thanos, but it's probably it's probably not gonna feel good either to a normal human. So I'm gonna say that it's about 30 million pounds of force going to Thor's head, and that's about his max durability level, because, I mean, it almost cut off his entire head. However, this is still extremely impressive because, you know, the entire Guardians of the Galaxy team couldn't barely survive a Power Stone blast, so it is pretty cool to see how Thor is this durable. So finally, let's talk about Thor's IQ. Now, Thor is very intelligent obviously because he's lived for 1500 years so his IQ is said to be 160 or more but we don't know how high that or more goes so we're just gonna say 160 which isn't as smart as Iron Man but Thor beat Iron Man in every other category so overall I'm gonna put Thor above Iron Man and Captain America Captain America being at the bottom Iron Man being second and Thor being at the top as of now because Thor is just insane he has 10 quadrants trillion pounds of strength he has about 30 million pounds of durability and his speed is pretty good too you know it's not incredible but it's 175 that's still pretty crazy so overall thor is very powerful and i just wanted to put this video out here to show that i mean thor isn't necessarily the most op character in marvel but he is pretty close to being up there i mean he's at least in the top 10 most powerful characters in the marvel cinematic universe in my opinion maybe not in the comics but in the marvel cinematic universe he probably is so if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more power scaling videos in the future then make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace